Hello. <sighs> Welcome again. It's me, uh, Peter, here to discuss uh, some more tech stuff. Today we are looking at exploring MQTT IoT with Arduino with SIM800. Uh, we're also going to be using the MQTT Explorer and the ThingsBoard IoT platform. So yeah, let's get started. So we, were, we are going to start um, with a few definitions for those that may not know what IoT is so that uh, we are able to see what that is so that we are on the same page almost. Although it's a more uh, involved topic, you might have to read a little more. So what is IoT? IoT is the Internet of Things. It describes network of physical objects, devices, things, uh, sensors embedded with uh, technologies for purposes of connecting and exchanging data with a platform where the data can be managed, it can be visualized, it can be used to trigger other events like alarms and alerts that then can be used as a way of notifying whoever needs that information that something is happening. So it can be anything. And mostly they use the internet. It can be the internet or an intranet. It doesn't matter as long as there is communication between devices. Yeah, so that's it. And we are going to be using an Arduino. Arduino is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. So Arduino has a lot of libraries that abstract the hardware away from the difficulties of dealing with the hardware, you know, on the metal, as you say. And now it makes it easier so that they are uh, using uh, existing programs and libraries, you're able to access the hardware without caring too much what is happening on the metal. But now for more information, you can read on arduino.cc and you'll get more information. So we are going to be using the MQTT protocol. MQTT protocol is the message queue telemetry transport. It's a lightweight publish subscribe machine to machine uh, network protocol. It's desi designed for connections with remote locations that have devices with uh, resource constraints and limited network bandwidth. This could be a single sensor, maybe a weather station, maybe it could be just about anything. It can be an energy meter, it can be a water meter, it can be uh, this, all these devices that um, we need data from. So anything that needs can be measured, it can be communicated, and then we can make useful uh, conclusions from the data that we receive from that device. So MQTT happens to be this protocol that is lightweight. It can run on devices with uh, limited bandwidth, limited memory. <laughs> wow. <laughs> limited memory, yeah. Limited memory and all these constraints so that these devices can uh, be able to communicate. So, yeah, so that's uh, MQTT. And then we are going to be looking and connecting this device to ThingsBoard. ThingsBoard is an open source IoT platform for data collection, processing, visualization, device management. So it encompasses all those things that you would want on the internet to be able to manage IoT devices. So ThingsBoard enables that, and we are going to be exploring how to connect a device to ThingsBoard. And then we are going to actually, uh, you know, see how it interacts with the device. For more information, you can read on thingsboard.io for further uh, to understand the platform better. So, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and um, start. For the hardware, we are going to be using this electronic board that I'm working on a project with. Currently, I'm using it for a water management project, but we can use it also for demo, uh, to demonstrate uh, this simple application that we are trying to do. It has a SIM 800, that right there is a SIM 800. Underneath here, we have an Arduino Mega uh, that we are using, so we can be able to uh, program it and see how it works. On the internet, 
uh, we have uh, created an account at thingsboard.demo.thingsboard.io. So we are going to be seeing how that works. And so uh, we're also going to be using MQTT Explorer. MQTT Explorer is a Windows uh, application that helps you to uh, simulate a device. So you can use it as a client to be able to subscribe and uh, publish to a, a system. Then you are able to know that your connection is actually working. It's an important tool because sometimes you might have bugs in your hardware and you don't know whether it's the communication, whether it's any other thing. So with this one running on a computer with the internet connection, you can connect to things board and you can also see what uh, you can send some messages and you can receive some others on MQTT Explorer. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, program the Arduino. We have the Arduino uh, example sketch already uh, loaded here. And we are going to be uh, changing it to fit with our current setup. So we are using um, the Arduino Mega. So we are not going to be using software serial. That's not necessary. Our software serial there, that one is not necessary. So we started with serial two. That's where our hardware is. And uh, let's see, does it compile? Serial GSM is not there, so we substitute that with serial to replace all. Okay, so let's see, does it work? Yeah, it compiles. Let's upload this and see what we get. Okay, it's uploading, it's uploading, let's clear this, So our serial is on the wrong baud rate, so we set it to the right one, clear output, and reset. Okay, so it's initializing the modem. Yep, uh, modem is found, it's a CM800. It's connected to the network, it's trying to connect to the internet. Okay, so actually we need an access token from ThingsBoard. Yeah, so let's go over to ThingsBoard and create a device. It failed to connect, so let's go over to ThingsBoard and yeah, create a device. Okay, so here we go. Um, devices, how are you? Let's add a new device, add a new device. Name is sample test device. Label not necessary. Default uh, profile. Next, we add credentials. Let's let the machine add that for us. We don't need to add the customer, we can add the device. The device has been added, so let's copy the access token. Um, the, let's see the device credentials. So we could go manage credentials and copy this. This is what we need. Uh, the access token, we go back to our 
Arduino program. We go back to our Arduino program and paste the access token here. The access token, we paste it there. Also, we have to change this. Thingsboard.cloud, we are using the demo version. As you can see from, from here. So we go to demo.thingsboard.io. That's our server. And so on this one, on the Arduino, we update that. This is the one, this is where we put that data. That's our server. It's a demo version. So um, we can save this as uh, just the same name. And then we upload it to the board and see what happens. Okay, so it's uh, uploaded. Let's now go back to the serial monitor and see what happens. Let's restart. As you can see, we have not done any major uh, programming. It's just using an example that already exists. So you don't have to be an, a programming guru to be able to do these things. You just need to know what to do with what. So most of this code is available online. Just need to download it and then test it. So we are trying to connect to demo.thingsboard.io uh, with that access token and let's see yeah it's connected so we are we are sending data let's go to things board and see if that data is available on the on the platform so if you come to latest telemetry we can see it's sending temperature and humidity and the data is coming in real time okay so here is the information we are getting every so often. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's keeping on changing. So let's now take uh, this data and plot it on our dashboard. So we take these two uh, shown widgets. Let's put it on a bar graph. A bar graph. Let's use a time series bar graph. Um, or line graph. Those are cards. Let's choose. Things board has embedded uh, charts, so you don't have to to worry about whether you are going to be able to write these on your own. So. As you can see, that's a time series. These are line chart. That's a state chart showing whether the system is on or off. It's a digital one, but I like I like this one more. So let's choose this one. Add to dashboard. We do not have any dashboard, so we create a new dashboard. Call it sample device, and then open the dashboard. Add. And then, of course, this is the data that's streaming in from our device. And you can, you can see this, this now becomes uh, very something that you can already use to do anything. So we can add other um, widgets. Let's do a digital gauge for uh, temperature and humidity. So let's do that. This is temperature. Let's add the data source. Test device. Let's add temperature. Add. We see that now we have a 
we have a, a widget showing the actual temperature. Let's add another widget uh, similar to that one. Instead of adding from here, we can just copy this and paste it and then change the data source, data value. So we can add humidity there. And yeah, that's it. So basically without without a lot of uh, coding or anything difficult, we've been able to uh, put together an IoT device from an example. Of course, the hardware is already was already made, so that is a, a small hurdle, a difficulty. And but as you can see, we are able to do this in 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 a very, very fast, not much difficulty. Let me now show you if if the value changed, let's say in the program, and let's say our sensor value changed. And we now want to see it. Let's change that. Um, let's change the program, uh, the temperature value, and see how that changes. So let's put that there. Okay, so where is this? Currently, we are sending a value of, we are sending a value of uh, 22 and 42.5. Here. We are sending a value of 22 and 42.5. So let's send uh, 30. 30. A value of 30 and let's say 62.5. 62.5. Let's send this to the device. So the data has been sent to the device. The device will reconnect again. Uh, let's see the serial, what's coming out of the serial. If we clear this, it's starting up. Waiting for network, it's connected to the internet. And It's connecting to things board and now let's see things board. You can see we missed some data points there. So the window is empty, but now the new data has come in. The humidity has changed to 63. The temperature is now 30, just like in our Arduino program. So, yeah, that's a simple demonstration of uh, how to create IoT solutions using, using open source technology that is available. And of course, now uh, you're able to explore these available technologies. You're able to create some solutions that uh, can be uh, of a lot of value, uh, either for your own personal uses or for business. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. I'll be providing the link uh, to all the resources, things board, Arduino, the, the, the example code that I have used, and you can go ahead and uh, try it in your own uh, place. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.